drink some more. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna use the couch properly. Where's the other one? Okay. Talk show. Puede. Hey guys. Thanks for bearing with us for like That was good. Not bad at all. Uh, here's the first question. How is life like now, a year after Angie came out to the public? Now it's easy. Now, now I get to do what I love doing and you know, I get to travel and still hang out with all of these amazing people and be myself, inspire other people, and get to live a normal life, if that makes sense. What made you say yes to the Tell All feature on TLC? came out there were several offers but from working in television I just kind of knew that it didn't feel right but I'd worked with um, our producer Jung Leung on a uh, top model celebrity car war so we had a relationship yeah, you have to have people you trust right yeah. Yeah, definitely so, so they tell the right story so especially because it's so personal when Joan who was still with active TV we spoke about it I had I had a lot more confidence with Joan and then they said, let's pitch. And then TLC swooped us up, um, and then it, it just came from there. Because I had, I had Joan. It was just basically having another family member say, it's going to be OK. And that's how it really started. Yeah, because we, we didn't want to be exploited. I mean, we're doing this to get the word out, get the message out. It had to be done in a certain way. We're, we're not making any money from There's this, no guys. Money. We're not earning anything. <laughs> we, we, we waived our talent fee. and. There was no talent fee. But we basically waived everything because we wanted, we're, we're we waving. just wanted to get the word out. I could have been your agent. Yeah. You could have gotten something from this, you know. No, I'm just kidding. Wait. Show, show me the money. <laughs> How much input did you have on the treatment, the production aspect? Did you have a say in what makes the final cut? I'm anal. So. I know. <laughs> um, we, we definitely got um, control of it, definitely. Good. Because it's yes. our story. Yes. Um, yeah. You know, we we're really lucky that um, Rohit stepped in and yeah. he, he transformed it. It was a 30 minute short to begin with, and he was saying, like, let's push it to an hour special. And we're like, what else are you going to put in it? What did he say? But, you know, thank you to Rohit Works. Yes. Ro Give him some love, guys. Rohit. Good job. Thank you so much, Rohit. Yeah. We, saw, we saw the the preview of the show right before leaving for the US, and we were. Truly amazed. We're, We're like, amazed. We're wow, like, wow. It's funny. Okay. Joey's so violent. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I laughing at that? <laughs> Who's loud here? Who's loud? What did you want viewers to take with them after watching the show? Positivity, Jay. Inspiration. Yeah. What we experienced as a, in our own relationship and the, the hardships that we had, but the outcome uh, from what we received from everyone, people we don't know, was so much positivity that we decided, you know, that maybe we can share what we experience and it would be helpful for others that we that we don't know. So that's that's why we decided to go with it and that's hopefully what the audience comes out of it. They'll be like, Oh, it's not really a big deal, is it? It's not that strange. It's it's okay actually I, I like that, you know, and it's I think it's because people thought it was a bit like, how can that be? You know, but actually, yeah, actually that's really cool and it works for them and it, does, it can work for anybody. So what advice would you give to couples that are in the same situation? Oh, you first. Well, um, <laughs> for, for me, definitely, if, if you really want to stay together, you'll find a way to work it out. And, you know, if there's anyone out there who's having the same similar situation as, uh, as us, like, don't give up. You know, you got to try at it. Like, if... If we gave up, then obviously we wouldn't even have this document. But we, we sort of like really just worked around everything. After all the, the counselors, the friends, the family, I have the, counselors. the retreats, <laughs> the alcohol, the weekends, I have the alcohol. and you know you, you literally find things to help you grasp and work around it. And again, like we we fought hard for our love, and we really wanted to stay together. Yeah, I'm actually really annoyed by the hashtag love wins, but you know what, it really does. I hate it. Everyone's like, fuck it. Using the word like, love wins, Jay. love wins, but at the end of the day, love really does win, right? Yes. So here, I have a question from Manila Bulletin for Angelina. 
Ooh. Jolie. <laughs> when, when, when was Angie born within you? When did you realize you love to wear women's clothes? And how does it feel that after long years you've finally been able to come out and enjoy your life? Oh, you answered that already. Let's just answer the first two questions. When was Angie born? When did you realize you like to wear women's clothes? Um, so as far back as I can remember, as a conscious thought, like seven years old, definitely there's an inclination to like want to even touch the, the smoother fabrics than you know how the guy stuff had like rough cotton and like you know not smooth and then you see the smoother fabrics of the women you're like oh, why why don't we get that why don't we get the nicer looking things but definitely at the young age you already know there's a conscious difference that why wasn't I born a girl? Why am I in this group? Why can't I grow my hair? Just always different questions going through your head as a child. So um, people ask me this, they're like, how do you know you're transgender? I go, if you're questioning your gender, you're probably transgender. Because normal people, you guys, normal people, don't question gender. That's true, that's true. Okay, for Joey, was it hard for you to accept the situation right away? Are there any changes with how you treat each other now in terms of your relationship? From Regina Paromao from Manila Bulletin. Thank you, Manila Bulletin. <laughs> Thank you. There's for good that, news for everywhere. For that early, who, who got question? <laughs> well, that's it. It's obvious. It's like, yeah, it was really hard. I mean, I think Jay knew, and then I, my personal Barcada knew that it was really hard. Like, the, the last three years was hard to wrap my mind around it. Uh, but um, I'm glad I went through that because I wouldn't have gone through the process of trying to help myself uh, work it out. And if it wasn't for family support and friend support and counseling and spiritual awareness and all that hippy dippy shit that I like <laughs> meditation, mindfulness. So that works out. Huh? It you. does. It seriously does. That's true. Basically, I went to. <laughs> I went to that and uh, and everything else was very, so simple. And nothing was a big, there was no camera anymore yeah. when I went there. But I had to go through you know, hitting the wall, having crazy train moments. I can't do this to like, now we're like, wow. Dropping plates. Throwing plates against Throwing the wall. Um, but yeah, but Jay, yeah, hello. Of course it's hard and maybe, yeah. maybe some people realize, okay, I don't want this, this is not for me, and you've made your decision, but the thing is, I knew, I want her. I'm gonna make this work. I just have to get over whatever camera I got. That's it, basically. Oh, I'm making this so bad. <laughs> yeah, we'd like to ask Steph Season from Preview, Season from Preview.ph, to come and join us. I'm also glad that Angie doesn't wear ballet flats anymore. I like ballet flats. We hate ballet flats, or right, Joe? Yes, we do. Yes. Or Crocs. Oh, Crocs. I, I have a friend walking down the stairs who likes Crocs. Sorry. <laughs> Kevin, Ty, I'm next. Kev, come on, you're my favorite. Stop Thank wearing Crocs, Thank goodness that bro. Jimmy Choo has size 13. Fashion suicide, people. Crocs. Because even if she's 12, she uses size 13. Steph, okay. Hi, good evening. Hello. Hello. Uh, transitioning is a challenging journey, and we're really happy that you're sharing it with us. But what's the most challenging part of showing this to the public, and how has this changed, influenced, or improved your relationship with each other and your loved ones? Um, uh, for me, I'll speak for myself. Um, one of the hardest part about doing something like this and putting yourself out there is is not having privacy anymore, and you. You're not, you don't have anonymity, you can't do anything in a normal way. Everyone wants to chat with you, have a photo, have a piece of you. And you know, it, it's tricky because you, you want to live a normal life. I want to live a normal life, but now because I'm sort of a poster child for this topic, it makes it difficult. So it's nice when we travel because no one knows us and we just get to be normal people. Okay, do we have any other questions? from the press. Is that okay? And the answer your question. Thank you. I mean, sharing this is easy because that's going to happen. It's already out. Um, but the, the coming out stuff was, it was the hard part. Notice that I'm drinking the second drink. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's the third drink. It's, it's okay. Third, it's just the red wine. drink. <laughs> okay. Any more questions from the press? Raise your hand. Don't be shy. Are we good? Yeah? It's leaving. Look at the Garcia's 
Yes, yes because Kim. they have children. Did you see Kim? So maybe just your final word for everyone. Oh, um, so I'd like to leave off with, um, so if you ever ever have or meet a transgender, it's, it's difficult because that person will transition, but you also have to transition at the same time. So all the people around me had to get used to the, the pronouns and you know, the descriptions and also help tell other people because people ask like, like oh, yeah, have you heard what's happening to getting it in and you're now you're now all advocates because you're you you know us and then you're going to be able to share our story share um, the explanations to other people who don't understand because they'll be like hey, you know i don't get it i don't get it they can explain to us so you know we we'd like to thank you guys for coming definitely um i hope you guys enjoyed the show and uh, had a few last words Guys, thanks so much for bearing with us. Yeah. She, yeah, she's really crazy. Good. Yeah. I, I she was I, on point. I think I need Botox already. No, no, no. I didn't see the lines. No, no, no. Let me I'm be so the. Serious about let me be the one to do the Botox, not you. <laughs> anyway, guys, don't forget to watch the premiere of the Kings on TLC this June 22, 9 p.m. Also available on Facebook Live at fb.com slash TLCEA. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jay Rodriguez. Jane, on behalf so of the Kings, I love you. I love you. Love you Good Jane. night, everyone. Love you all.